Hi, I'm Dory, and today I am doing another ACEO、uh, as I am continuing the ACEO April Art Challenge. And、just in case you've not been keeping up with this, I basically I am creating a new artist trading card, which is a teeny tiny little drawing or painting,、uh, and I'm doing a new one every single day for the month of April. This challenge was created by my friend Claire. I'm gonna have a link to her channel down below, just in case you want to check out what she's doing with this challenge, or in just in case you want some more information about it. Uh, or you're welcome to watch all the rest of my videos that I've done、uh, this month, and you know, get up to speed. You're welcome to do that as well. <laughs>、uh, but yeah, let me talk about the artwork that I'm working on right now.、Uh, as you can see, I am painting a portrait, and this is a very different style.、Uh, you guys know that I do portraits. All the time. That's kind of my favorite thing to do,、uh, but I normally put a lot of very subtle、uh, details in my portraits. I, I I really am very detail oriented. I like to have lots and lots of tiny subtle changes in light, and I like to get all the freckles and all all the little teeny tiny little important details. I like to have in my portrait because to me those are all the things that make someone who they are. Uh, this portrait is is the opposite <laughs> of that. This is a extremely high contrast portrait.、Uh, it only focuses mostly on like the extreme dark, deepest shadows.、Uh, you get the eyes, the mouth, and you get a, like a hint of the nose, and that's basically it. You <laughs> honestly, you get more, way more of the、uh, shallow of the cheek, just under the cheekbone. You get more of that because of the lighting in this particular image. Uh, you get more of that than you get the nose, so <laughs> it's it's very different. It's extremely different from the way I'm used to working、uh, when it comes to portraits, and that was kind of freeing. It was very freeing to do something very different、um, and kind of just relax with the idea of what a portrait is. And、yeah, it was fun. And what I ended up with was a very very.、Uh, <laughs> 80s kind of reminiscent、uh, picture. It's it's it very much reminds me of the 1980s high fashion models, and I love that. I think that's really cool because you know I grew up in the 80s.、Um, the 80s、uh, I, beauty standard. That's that's kind of what I was raised on. What I kind of idolized and aspired to be as a little girl. I always kind of looked up to you know. The '80s look, and yeah, it's kind of cool because a lot of the '80s looks are coming back in style. So I am seeing a lot of what was considered beautiful then; it's coming back now, and that's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to see everything come full circle and come back in、uh, into style. <laughs> There's a lot of things from the '80s that I, I hope never, never come back into style, like shoulder pads.、Ugh. I hated shoulder pads so so much, and my mom loved them. Like she seriously would take my like normal clothes, like t-shirts, and sew shoulder pads into them for me. And she really thought like she was helping me or doing me a favor. And I hated it so much. I don't know why. Like she would sew these stupid shoulder pads into like sweaters. Uh, and my jackets. I mean, oh, it was so frustrating. So I hope those never ever come back into style. They were they were uncomfortable and horrible, and they looked weird. And yeah, <laughs> but they were everywhere in the eighties. That's that's for sure. <laughs>、um, yeah, another thing that was not very comfortable and、uh, can just stay in the past. Steer up pants. Those were. Absolutely the worst ever, <laughs> but there's a lot of really cool things from the '80s that I do think were super cool, and I'm excited to see them kind of coming back. And those are things like scrunchies and、um, you know stacked socks and really bright colors, especially like neon colors really seem to be a popular thing that is coming, and you see that more and more. Yeah, there's just really cool. Really cool things that I'm enjoying seeing again, and yeah,、um, oh yeah, and the hair styles are kind of coming back a little bit too.、Uh, the side、uh, side ponytail is one that I'm seeing around, and I, I I think that was 
awesome. I used to rock the side ponytail all the time as a kid, so I'm into it. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, you can see, you can really see as the portrait's coming together now, you can see it's definitely, um, almost has a Lost Boys feel to it in the way that, uh, in the expression in her face reminds me of Lost Boys also, which is another awesome remnant of the 1980s. Oh, I love Lost Boys. <laughs> if you've seen Lost Boys, then, you know, we can be friends. You can go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you've seen Lost Boys and if you love it because it's amazing. Um, but yeah, let me tell you the main reason that I wanted to paint this portrait. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could incorporate my metallic pearlescent fine tech paint watercolor paints. I wanted to see if I could incorporate those into a portrait. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, you see those super shiny metallic paints there beside my picture. I wanted to use those in a, in a very pretty water, a portrait. And uh, that's what I did. I put the um, red lips down was the very first thing I painted on this page. And those lips are so shiny and so shimmery and sparkly. And I love them so much. And, and But that wasn't enough. That was not enough shiny metallicness for me. I wanted more. So I ended up putting the sparkly blue. I put that into her eyes. So her eyes are sparkly and shiny as well. Which, um, those two aspects definitely add to the Lost Boys feel <laughs> of this painting. They add to the 80s feel of the painting. I, I love this painting. <laughs> I think it looks really cool. And, um, um, yeah. Let's see. And, oh, I also put a little tiny bit of gold in her hair. So her hair has got some sparkle in it as well. Um, I love sparkles. Obviously, look at my fingernails. My goodness. <laughs> But yeah, um, I hope that you like this picture. I definitely enjoyed painting it. I remember um, back in the 80s when I was really kind of starting to understand fashion and kind of uh, see it in places around me. Uh, I remember that the first thing that I, 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 first thing I ever really, the first time I ever really kind of experimented with fashion was at a friend's house because she had tons of clothes and we did like this model fashion show it, like pretending her hallway was a runway and I remember I did my makeup very similar to the way this girl is in the picture uh, except of course I had really awful cakey like foundation on that was like this bizarre orange color but other than that, I kind of looked like this chick in the movie, in the picture. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.